Hey ho guys, Leo Hightower here, and this is a first for me. I never thought I'd do something like this, but as you can take a look from my window and everything, we are going to be doing a tier list of all things. That's right, we are going to be doing a Sonic characters tier list. And also while I'm on the subject, happy anniversary to Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, 30 years now, and the blue blur is still running hard and long. Although, for some games and everything like that, he's kind of slipped on a banana peel or kind of skidded a few times. But with the live-action movie having done so well, as well as a sequel being made, I can't wait to see what new adventures Sonic will have in the sequel of all things. But anyway, moving on to uh, the tier list right here. We have a whole collection of Sonic characters from video games, comic books, and cartoons. And uh, I have a love and hate relationship with a lot of characters. Although for some characters, I haven't really read most of the comics, but I do love the comic dubs that people do online on YouTube and everything. I'm familiar with some characters and there are some characters I'm not familiar with, but those I am familiar with, I'll give, I'll try and give my honest opinion about them, what I think of them and uh, where they stack in the ranks. And I've got the ranks colored from the color that they're usually presented in uh, Sonic Unleashed. S being platinum, A being gold, B being silver, C being bronze, and so on. So yeah. And we have a total of 63 or 64 characters to go through. And I'll be starting alphabetically. S being the top tier characters, and F being low tier characters. Mmm... So yeah, anyway, let's get started with this, shall we? This is my tier list, and if you want to make a tier list of your own using the Sonic characters, I'll leave a link to the uh, tier list link in the, in, the, the, in my description below. Also, this is my own personal opinion of Sonic characters. It may be different from yours, so don't take what I say about these characters personal or anything, okay? And don't be going in the comments being a hater saying, you're wrong, this character is awesome, or why are you defending this character? This character sucks. Don't do that. Don't be a hater. I'm serious. These are my personal takes on these characters. Whether I like them, whether I hate them, or I don't find anything interesting about them. Okay? So without further ado, let's get started. This is my Sonic the Hedgehog character tier list. Alright? Let's get started. Alrighty, let's get started with this tier list, shall we? First and foremost for this tier list, I'm just going to start out right now with Sonic himself. Sonic has been my childhood idol since I was practically a little kid. I've been there since the very beginning with him, and he's still holding strong, in my opinion, to this very day. And I still love the big guy. I mean, the blue guy. So, yeah. With that being said, uh... Let me zoom in on this real quick. There we go. Anyway, hey. Sonic still holds a precious place in my heart from video games, comic books, and merchandise. So yeah, if I'm gonna rank Sonic, it has to be S tier, because he's still the man after all this time. Also, Tails. Tails, little buddy, best bro, compadre. He has been with Sonic since Sonic 2 and the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I practically fell in love with Tails because he was that one character, that little brother, that I emphasized with on many occasions. He was a great character, and the fact that he had his own plane, the Tornado, which was was awesome. True, Tails has had some ups and downs over the years, but through it all, Tails is still a great character. I love the little fella. He's definitely come a long way. And in Sonic X, we got to see his personality fleshed out a bit more. In Sonic Boom, we saw how funny and a uh, genius he is with his little inventions and everything. Although, I gotta say, what the hell did they do to him in Sonic Forces is beyond me. T in Sonic Unleashed, I think that was pretty good, but in my honest opinion, uh, when they just turned him into uh, a sidekick, the, where he wasn't really part of the action and you couldn't control him like it was in Sonic Adventure, I felt like that was a big step back. 
seriously, the portrayals of him in the comics are some of my personal favorites, and I like Tails for that, so if I'm gonna stick Tails anywhere, it's gonna be A tier. Tails is my little buddy. He might have some faults, but I still love the little guy. Knuckles! Knuckles was the rival to Sonic in Sonic 3, and ever since he finally found out that Eggman, or Dr. Robotnik, uh, was, wasn't who he said he was, he's become a bit of a fan favorite after all this time. I may not have a Knuckles plushie like it is uh, uh, with my Sonic plushies, but Knuckles is a likable character. He might be gullible, and he might not be the brightest, but he is a good guy nonetheless, and he's very friendly. Just don't mess with the Master Emerald, otherwise he will basically, uh, he'll punch you straight to the moon. Knock knock us Knuckles. And I love Knuckles' theme in Sonic Adventure 1. His theme in Sonic Adventure 2 is bopping. So yeah. Although, I don't really care for Knuckles' betrayal in Sonic Boom, because they made him a muscle-bound dummy with a uh, half a brain, but Knuckles is still a good character nonetheless. He'd be a cool friend to have around, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Now we come to the rest of the characters. I'm gonna be starting in alphabetical order when it comes to these characters. But anyway, yeah. Classic Amy Rose. She was there when Sonic CD started, and uh, she was very cute. I didn't actually meet or, you know, get introduced to Amy until Sonic Adventure, but classic Amy Rose, it's just Amy, but she's a bit younger and everything like that, and, uh, she's a darling character. I like classic Amy. Amy, she's so cute as a button, and I want to give her loads of hugs. Personality-wise, she's a strong, independent, and courageous little character. There is a video that I watched which showcased Amy's personality and all her traits and everything. When, where she's not a Sonic-obsessed fangirl like she's later portrayed. Seriously, the portrayals of Amy in video games and in some of the cartoons were really bad. And I hated that. I hated them. I hated the people who did that because of... Uh, you know, how she was portrayed. Boom Amy is my personal favorite portrayal of Amy. Now, if only they could do like they do with the comics and uh, portray Amy this way, instead of just being in the games, then that would be so much better. Her whole entire, if I tell you, will you marry me or Sonic, there's no way out of marrying me thing, that's just her teasing Sonic. She doesn't mean it, you guys. So if I'm gonna put Amy anywhere, especially classic Amy on these tier lists, I'm gonna put her in A. I still adore the pink rose to this very day. I adore classic Amy and regular Amy Rose, modern Amy Rose. You know what? What if they had added Classic Amy and Amy Rose together in uh, Sonic Generations if they fleshed it out more? Because I like Generations and I wish they could have done Generations a bit more and made it longer, you know? Imagine what that would be like if Classic Amy met her older counterpart. Or for that matter, if Knuckles met his Classic counterpart, like Tails and Sonic did. And Eggman for that matter. But anyway, Bark the Polar Bear. Uh, I'm familiar with Bark because of Sonic the Fighters and a few comic dubs. I think Bark's an okay guy, even if he is teamed up with Bean the Dynamite and Fang the Sniper, aka Knack the Weasel. So I'm gonna put mm, Bark in C tier. I think he's okay. Bean the Dynamite is a funny fella, seriously. He is basically the Looney Tunes character of the Sonic uh, series, and it also breaks the fourth wall a lot. He's so zany and kooky. Ugh. I'm gonna put Bean in, uh... I'm gonna put Bean in C tier. Big the Cat. Big the Cat is a fun, humble guy, and he likes to fish. And I don't really see anything wrong with Big. He may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's still a big guy with a big heart. And you know what they say about big guys with big hearts. They can go oh, a long ways. Seriously, if I had a friend like Big, I wouldn't mind it, because he's such a nice guy. I'm going to put uh, Big in the B tier. Blaze the Cat. Ah, oh, I adore Blaze. She's come a long way since Sonic Rush, and I am forever thankful. I was there when I uh, watched someone play Sonic Rush, and how she went from being stuck up to being a caring person who could depend on friends, and the inning for Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure was just awesome. Since uh, Raising Me Up is an awesome tune. 
I love how, at the end, Sonic and Blaze shake hands, and then Blaze goes back to her dimension and everything. Nowadays, we see her in various games with Sonic and the others, palling around, and uh, being friends with Cream, who I'll get to later on. So, yeah. Blaze the Cat. I definitely love Blaze, and I will put her in the A tier class. She might have her faults and everything like that, but Blaze has come a long way and she is a strong character. I adore Blaze the Cat. The Chow. Chow goes in the a S tier class because I love the little fellas. I adore them. I'm a Chow sitter. And you guys have seen my video of me showcasing my Chow I have in Sonic Adventure 2. I should probably do Sonic Adventure 1's tier list of uh, my Chow sometime. So yeah. Chaos. Chaos went from being the guardian protector of the Chow to a very uh, distinctive boss battle in Sonic Adventure. And he did come back a few times in games like uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle where he was a playable character. And then later, uh, not even having a boss fight against him in Sonic Forces was a complete letdown and disappointment. But if I had to choose uh, where to put Chaos, I would put Chaos in uh, C-Class. I, find Ka I found Chaos to be pretty average, but as a protector of the Chow, he's definitely definitely one of my personal favorites overall. So, C for me. Average. Charmy the Bee. The mascot of Team Chaotix. Uh, Charmy's a sweet fella. Heck, I adore the little bee. He's alright in my opinion. I'm gonna put him in C. Chip! Chip, aka Light Gaia. If it wasn't for Sonic Unleash, I never know who Chip was, and I love Chip. The ending theme, uh, Dear My Best Friend, or uh, uh, Dear My Friend from Sonic Unleash was Darling, and the friendship that you bond with Chip, gain with Chip as you play through Unleash was very Darling. I liked Chip, he was such a funny little character, and he's not Scrappy-Doo, damn it! He's not Scrappy-Doo. So overall, I'm gonna put Chip in A tier. Chris Thorndike. Ugh. A lot of people dislike Chris because of how he's portrayed in Sonic uh, X, and I don't blame him. I didn't really care for Chris, especially in Sonic X. He's an okay character, especially when you see him grown up and everything, but overall, I didn't really care for Chris, so I'm gonna put him in E tier. Sorry. Cosmo. Oh, I wish I could find a good plushie of Cosmo because Cosmo was such a sweet character and I hated how she had to die in order to help save the whole galaxy because of the Metarex and Tails. I feel for you, little bro. She was such a darling character. She was so pretty, too. I don't care what anyone says about Cosmo. Cosmo is a darling character. Heck, Sonic182 recently put Cosmo in some of their videos and I found Cosmo in Among Us to be funny and dare I say spooky at the same time. I'm gonna put Cosmo in the B tier class as a friend. I would love to have Cosmo as a friend. Cream! I adore that little rabbit, especially Cheese, her chow. I would give Cream loads of hugs and she is that little friend that you want as a sister. She's just so darling. I'm gonna put Cream in the S tier. I don't care what anyone says. Cream is a sweetheart. I would give Cream big hugs every day. Heck, I got a huge plushie of her because of J Fox Fire. Thank you again for that, J Fox Fire. Okay, Cubot. What can I say about Cubot except for him being zany and pretty ridiculous? I like Cubot just like I like Orbot, seriously. So if I'm gonna uh, put Cubot anywhere, I'll put him on uh, the C class tier along with Orbot. They're funny little minions. Eggman. Ay ay ay. If it wasn't for Eggman trying to conquer the world, Sonic wouldn't have anything to do. Seriously, the zany evil doctor has been there since the very beginning as Dr. Robotnik, and then later changing his name to Eggman. Seriously. I think my personal favorite portrayal of Eggman is in Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, and Unleashed. Seriously, he actually managed to make Eggman land in Unleashed of all things, so yeah. Heh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put Eggman in the A-Class tier. He has his moments, but uh, yeah. Elise. Princess Elise. If only they had portrayed Elise better in Sonic 06, she would have been done better. 
but I will never forgive Elise for the endings that the ending that is Sonic 06 where she would rather have the world dis uh, destroyed than lose Sonic. I'm sorry, but Elise F-Clest here. No offense to Lacey Calvert, uh, Calvert, who portrayed her, but I did not like Elise. I'm sorry, but I did not. Even when playing the game and everything, I did not like Elise. Uh, Emerald. Emerald was an interesting character. I never played Sonic Battle before, but I remember Sonic X the anime where uh, he was in there, and I thought he was an interesting character. The fact that he could copy certain characters' abilities was quite cool, actually. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna put him in the C-Class here. Espio, the ninja, the chameleon, my man. Seriously, from Knuckles Chaotix to being a part of the Chaotix Detective Agency. Espio's a cool guy, and I would like to have Espio as a friend. I'm gonna put him in the B-Class tier. Espio, you are a cool guy, seriously. Bang the Sniper, aka Knack the Weasel. I only know, uh, Knack, Knack, or aka Fang, from a few comics and, uh, uh, n uh, Sonic Triple Trouble. I never made it far in Triple Trouble, but, uh, yeah. But, if I have to put him somewhere, I'll put him in the, uh, C-Class tier. He's an alright character, and he's pretty devious. E-102 Gamma. What can I say about Gamma? Started as a uh, Eggman robot, then later distanced himself from Eggman when Amy saved him on the Yay Carrier that time. And all while leading up to him saving the other animals trapped inside the E-100 robots, uh, and him rebelling against Eggman's programming, ultimately leading to his death. I'm gonna put him in the B-tier class. I liked playing as Gamma's story in Sonic Adventure, and, uh, yeah. Grounder, Son Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and the later comics. Grounder was always a funny and charming character, and seriously, who doesn't like, uh, the person who, uh, voice acted Grounder? Mm. Average, C, C tier. The, oh lord, uh... The enemies from Sonic Mania, what are they called? The, uh, uh, darn it! <clears throat> I forget their names, but you know who I'm talking about. Why can't I remember most of these characters' names? Uh, uh but I found the bosses, uh, the, uh, in, uh, Sonic Mania to be interesting with unique designs of their own. And they were quite a challenge, so if I have to put them anywhere, especially with their unique designs and everything, uh, I'm gonna put them in the B tier class. So, yeah. Uh, forgive me if I don't remember their names! I'm sorry. Honey the Cat. Playable character in Sonic the Fighters and a awesome character in the comics. With her own fashion, uh, Mongol and, uh, uh, you know, fashion, uh, sh uh, fashion design and everything. If it's not Honey, it's, uh, how does that catchphrase go? But nonetheless, uh, I like Honey, and she was a cute character. I'm putting her in the C-Class. Infinite. If only they had portrayed Infinite better, then I think he would have been a better villain in Sonic Forces. True, he came off as a pretty cool and interesting character, but the way he was portrayed wasn't exactly the best in my honest opinion. So yeah. And the uh, story where it showed Shadow beating him up before he became infinite, I feel like it could have done a whole lot better. Instead of him throwing a temper tantrum saying, I am not weak! But I digress. Infinite, you could have done so much better. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to put Infinite in the D tier. He could have done so much better. I really want Infinite to be better, but I will say this much. His theme is awesome. Seriously. Jet the Hawk, Sonic Riders. I found Jet to be a pretty uh, interesting rival. He was devious, and he was silly, and he was a counter for Sonic. Seriously, if you played Sonic Rivals levels, then you probably understand uh, Jet pretty good. So if I have to put Jet anywhere, I'll put him in the B class tier. I found Jet to be an interesting rival. Manic! Sonic Underground! I liked Manic and Sonic Underground. The fact that all three hedgehogs, Sonic, Sonia, and Manic were voiced by Jaleel White was funny. And uh, shout out to my pal J uh, Savvy is Jasso for doing Manic Man. Seriously, 
I hate the fact that you had to take down your channel because of other YouTubers. There's, uh, going all uh, blacklist on you because of Manic. Manic is a cool character. He plays the drums, and he's got his own style, especially because of his thieving skills. I like Manic, and, uh, I hope you guys did too, so I'm putting Manic in, uh, B-Class tier. Maria. If it wasn't for Maria, Shadow wouldn't, you know, be who he is now. I just wish we could have gotten more of a fleshed out personality from her in, uh, the, in the, I guess the comics and games and everything. Because all we know about Maria is that she was Shadow's best friend, she was Dr. Gerald Robotnik's granddaughter on the Ark, and because of certain actions, she ended up dying because of gun. So yeah. I'm putting Maria in the C class here. Uh, Marine the Raccoon. I found Marine to be a bit, uh, annoying than she really was, but that's just my opinion. I never really played all the way through Sonic Rush Adventure, and I hate that. I've only played little bits of it, and I didn't really care much for her, so I'm sorry. I have to put her in the E, E tier. Nephilus the Dark, the only villain I know that has actually killed Sonic and he was a manipulator of all things. The other half of Solaris. So yeah. Hmm. Uh. I wish he could have done better. Better, but yeah. He's still an, an interesting villain. D. Metal Sonic. Ah, Sonic Spoil. The robotic metal counterpart to Sonic. The Metal Overlord. Seriously. Hmm. A class tier. Mighty. Ah, Mighty the Armadillo. I remember some portrayals of him from the comics, and I do remember uh, playing as him in Sonic Mania, which was really good. Seriously, Sonic, Mighty, and Ray, those guys were fun in Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. I've only played a little bit of it or watched people play Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, but in my opinion, Sonic, Sonic, the, uh, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog was a fun game. If I have to put Mighty anywhere, I'm going to put him in the B-Class tier. I like Mighty. Nicole! You started out as a handheld computer, then you gained a holographic image of yourself, which was really cool, and you are beautiful. I love Nicole, and she's so helpful. If I have to put Nicole anywhere, I'm going to put her in S-Class tier. I love Nicole. Seriously. Omega. You came into Sonic Heroes, and you've been there ever since then. I like Omega. Must eradicate all Eggman's robots. And, uh, in my opinion, <laughs> Omega is awesome, and I like the guy. He is a big, sturdy robot, and I liked some of the comic book portrayals of Omega, especially when he fell for Blaze of all things, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Omega has personality. He's not some, you know, mindless robot or anything. I'm putting him in the A-class tier. Seriously, Omega, you rock. Omni Chow. Your helpful advice, your advice is helpful at times, but seriously, I wish it stopped popping up all the time. And why in the world did they add you into the Chow races for, uh, Team Sonic Racing? Seriously. I didn't really care for Omni Chow. I'm sorry, any Omni Chow fans, but he goes in the F tier. I'm sorry. As much as I don't mind Omni Chow's advice in certain games and levels, I don't care for him. <laughs> Professor Pickle from Sonic Unleashed. Uh... Helpful guy, great scholar, good guy. Cucumber sandwiches, ladies and gentlemen. He goes in the A-class tier. Yeah. Ray. Ray was always a fun little fella. He goes in the B-class tier with Mighty. I like to have them as friends. Rouge the Bat. Hmm. Rouge is a treasure hunter and likes gems. I find Rouge to be alright for the most part. Seriously, this sexy bat lady is alright, and the fact that she's a cool government agent is alright in my opinion. I like Rouge. Even if she can be a little stuck up when it comes to gemstones, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Rouge. Uh, average. C class tier. Okay, we're running down now, so here we go. Sally. I have loved Sally since day one. She is the opposite to Sonic, and they uh, their chemistry mixes together so well. I'm not a shipper, but if I had to, I would ship Sonic and Sally. 
with Amy following behind as a third uh, character, but seriously, the fact that they are portrayed so well in the comic books is truly, you know, something to behold. And in the uh, Sonic Setium cartoon, their chemistry is even better too with the romance. I grew up watching Sonic Setium, and uh, yeah. And uh, the betrayal when she became Mecha Sally was uh, very crazy. It was just wow. I just watched a comic dub of uh, Son uh, Sonia uh, uh, Sally as Mecha Sally, and wow, that was really hard to watch. But at the same time, I'm like, oh man. Sally goes in the S-tier class, along with Nicole. It's only right to put those two together. Scratch. Ugh. The zany Scratch. Seriously. Ah. Uh, he goes in the C-class tier with Grounder. It's only right. Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. The ultimate life form. The other opposite to Sonic. And, uh, yeah. He's not a complete edgelord or anything like that, although his betrayal during the Metal Virus was pretty pitiful when he jumped in to fight the Metal Virus infected zombies and he ended up getting infected himself. But his later portrayal in some games and uh, even the Sonic X anime, in my opinion, was good. But yeah, I find, I find Shadow to be a pretty good character. He'd be an okay friend if I got along with him. He goes in B. Silver. Silver would also be a good friend. As long as he doesn't keep coming back from the future in order to solve a problem and everything like that. So, yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna put Silver in the A-class tier. I like Silver. He's a good character. And I'd like to be friends with Silver, you know? Sonya. B-class tier. I like Sonya from Sonic uh, Underground. She may be the spoiled pamper princess and everything, but she had a darling personality, and I always found Sonya to be funny! Funny, especially in little fan dub animations that people portrayed her with. Seriously, I like Sonya, but if I did have to choose between B or C, Sonya would probably go in C. She's average. Sticks the Badger. Sticks is funny. That's all I can say about her. And yeah. <laughs> the robot apocalypse is not nice, uh, Sticks. You're going in the C class tier. Okay. Storm the Albatross. Let's see. Eh, C class tier. I found him to be alright as a foil to Knuckles, but yeah. Let's see. Uh. The raccoon, uh, character from, uh, the comics. Why do I keep forgetting these characters' names? Uh, sorry, everyone. I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you. But, yeah. I like her character. And she's very fun. And, uh, yeah. Lemur. Uh, the lemur girl. So, yeah. I'm sorry. But if I have to put her anywhere, I put her in the B-class tier. I like her. To call. She's another character who became friends with the Chow. And I put her in the A-class tier. I like to call Vanilla. Cream's mom, I have to put her in the A-class tier. She's a darling mother to her baby girl, Cream. Vector. Mmm. Vector's an alright guy. But seriously, Vector, what the heck? Seriously. Uh, sometimes I don't get you sometimes, buddy. Anyway, B-class tier. Wave. I didn't really care for Wave, so I'm putting her in the D-class tier. I didn't really care much for the Babylon Rogues, especially with how uh, she did Tails and Sonic Dirty and uh, Sonic Riders, so yeah. Uh, I forget the captain's name from Sonic Rush Adventure, so it doesn't really matter to me too much because I never beat the game or anything. If I had to put him somewhere, I'm putting him in the D-class area. Whisper. I like Whisper. Whisper is an alright character. B-class tier. The Wisp. The Wisp were a nice add, ad, added addition to the Sonic games, and I think later on. So, yeah. I'm putting them in the A-class tier, but uh, uh, overall power-ups, I don't really care too much. So, yeah. Even though the uh, Wisp and weapons were a welcome addition and everything for Sonic Forces and Whisper uses them, yeah, I guess that's okay. The Deadly Six are the only ones left, and... Uh, I find Zabok to be deliciously evil, but I don't really care much for the Deadly Six because I never played Sonic Lost World. I've only watched people play it, so yeah. 
Hmm, where do I stack them in the ranks? Don't care for them. E ranks all the Deadly Six members. And there we go. That is my Sonic tier list. That is my overall Sonic character tier list. That's how I feel about all these characters, basically. Also, uh, for A ranking, Yakker, because he was such a friendly little wisp and I like the little fella from Sonic Colors, seriously. If you guys want to make your own Sonic tier list like this, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But th that's how I feel about some of these characters. And, uh, yeah. That's how I feel about most of these Sonic characters. From video games, comic books, cartoons, and other media. Yeah. This has been Leo Hightower. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tier list. And, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't be a hater. Happy anniversary, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.